guys, I'm back and I've got another Mandela effect. Well, not really Mandela effect, although I am going to talk about a few different ones in this video segment, but I found I made another interesting discovery um, from another channel many of you may be familiar with or with which many of you may be familiar. Get your English correct, Jennifer. Um, Truth Stream Media. Oh, and I, plus I love this girl's voice on it. It's so silky. It's like she's got this smoky, husky quality to her voice and she just does a lot of really great research work. But um, I'm going to leave this video in the description section. Essentially, it's titled Scientists Now Claim They Can Erase Memories and Implant Fake Ones. So I looked this up and of course I wanted to make sure it was legit and it seems to be. Um, UPI was posted on UPI.com but Columbia University also backs it and it was released just on June 22, 2017. And it says new research suggests problematic memories could be deleted. And of course, who doesn't think of, who doesn't think of, um, oh my God, Sunlight of the Spotless Mind. Now I'm forgetting, I'm blanking the movie. <laughs> that movie title has been erased from my memory, apparently. Uh, but in any case, it's pretty interesting. I'm going to go ahead and read just a portion of this article. Um, interesting and disturbing. Uh, in a series of experiments, neuroscientists were able to selectively delete different types of memories stored in a single neuron belonging to a marine snail. That's kind of interesting. I, I wouldn't know, first of all, how they would deduce whether or not the marine snail had its memories still. Number one and number two, it seems like a marine snail is just like kind of a step above... Um, it's kind of like a step above an amoeba, but, well, not quite an amoeba, but actually, oh no, wait, I wanted to read the, oh, sorry, I want to read this article. This came, this one came from columbia.edu. They're both about the same, but I felt like this article was better. So in any case, let me continue. Different types of memories stored in the same neuron of the marine snail, aplasia, can be selectively erased, according to a new study by researchers at Columbia University Medical Center, CUMC, and McGill University, and published today in Current Biology. The findings suggest that it may be possible to develop drugs to delete memories that trigger anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder without affecting other important memories of past events. During emotional or traumatic events, multiple memories can become encoded, including memories of any incidental information that is presented when the event occurs. In the case of a traumatic experience, the incidental or neutral information can trigger anxiety attacks long after the event has occurred, say the researchers. The example I like to give is if you're walking in a high crime area and you take a shortcut through a dark alley and get mugged and then you happen to see a mailbox nearby, you might get really nervous when you want to mail something later on, says Samuel Schachter, PhD, a professor of neuroscience in the Department of Psychiatry at CUMC and co-author of the paper. Whew, okay, that's a lot of credentials. Um, in the example, fear of dark alleys is an associative memory that provides important information, e.g. fear of dark alleys based on a previous experience. Fear of mailboxes, however, is an incidental non-associative memory that is not directly related to the traumatic event. One focus of our current research is to develop strategies to eliminate problematic non-associative memories that may become stamped in the brain during a traumatic experience without harming associative memories. Well, without harming associative memories, I should punch associative, which can help people make informed decisions in the future, like not taking shortcuts through dark alleys and high crime areas, which you should know not to do anyway. Um, but that's all I'm going to read of this article. I'll leave it down in the description section. But it was suggested even by Truthstream Media that, you know, people talk about the Mandela effect. People talk about what we remember. And how do we know based on what our what our government can do and what is capable of doing and we know that last time I checked or last time I read anything on it that they're at least 50 years ahead of us technologically then you combine that with Moore's law I mean who knows how much technologically advanced they are among all of us and as I've said before uh, you know the Mandela effect I'm open to it being anything it could have to do with I don't know so much about CERN but it definitely could have to do with quantum computers it could be an organic thing uh, wherein a theoretical physicist actually posed once that he feels that parallel universes are always kind of bumping up against ours and massaging ours 
Um, and then of course the differences couldn't be too pronounced otherwise the entire fabric of, of reality would be rent so um, so it could be that or it could be memories being erased one collective memory that I'm so totally confused about and one that stands out in my mind the most is mirror mirror versus magic mirror because Mirror Mirror is just, Mirror Mirror actually emanates from the original German translation of the Grimm Brothers Snow White tale. But why Americans are quoting that when it never was that is just leaves me gobsmacked. So that's something I wonder, like if this is a psychological experiment, maybe they started thing with things like Mirror Mirror versus Magic Mirror. I mean, we don't know. It's really strange, but just even, even things like my, in my own memory, are strange and I'll leave it up to the most recent Mandela effects posed by Scarab and Life Matrix to sort of illustrate this. So Lawrence Fishburne, I mean, who remembers his name being spelled like this? The weird thing was, was that Scarab did a, a video about a week ago or maybe two weeks ago talking about how Lawrence's name is spelled with a U now rather than a W. And I swear I always remember it being spelled with a W. I've watched The Matrix a million times. I love it. It's like one of my favorite films. And so then I go to show one of my friends this week and I realize Fishburne, there's an E on the end of it. I never remember the E on the end of it. Now, I could be wrong. I mean, I'm a writer, which means we can't spell for shit. But at the same time, like words, when I look at words, they have shapes to me and dimensions because as a writer, we also have that. And I never remember Lawrence Fishburne being this shape and dimension. So it's really weird to me that there's an E on the end. Maybe you guys, maybe some of you guys always remember his name being spelled like this, but I certainly don't. Uh, moving on to the next one. This was really strange. This was another Scarab performance video as well. Um, he brought up a bunch of pictures of the Statue of Liberty holding the torch in her left hand. And I said, oh no, that's it, that's right. Did they change it? Is it now in the right hand? Because for whatever reason, when I first looked at these pictures, I'm like, yeah, this is totally the way it's supposed to be. This is how the Statue of Liberty is. I don't know where they're getting these images. I don't know if it's Photoshop or if they somehow were able to reverse them or why they would even reverse them. This one's one of the most arresting to me. Because this is actually, this when I initially saw the pictures that Scarab put up, this is initially how I remembered her. So any in any case, Scarab found a whole bunch of pictures with her with the torch in her left hand drawings renderings I mean who knows maybe these other these other pictures photographs are statue Im statue imitations except for this one this one's really weird and that could be Photoshop too I don't know I mean it could be reality residue it could be that I've totally remembered this wrong but then it was funny because the more I looked up or the more I thought about the Statue of Liberty and the more I saw images of her with her torch in her right hand, which is actually how it is in real life, the more that looked correct to me too. So if you see, oh no, not Statue of Liberty drawing, <laughs> Statue of Liberty. So if you look, the Statue of Liberty never had the torch in her left hand and this is how it should look. Oh my gosh, that's so funny though because Oh my gosh, wait a second. This is weird because I'm looking at her leg. Okay, no, she did have the leg, but what's weird in this picture is that you can see the book here. And in this one, oops, I went to the wrong page. Uh, here it is. In this one, you can't see the book, although I guess it's probably on a separate angle. But that was just really weird to me. I had this total freak out. And then I also saw, this was kind of cute too, there was a McCall's, remember McCall's, your mom used to take you fabric shopping, but I saw this McCall's and this girl, this little girl has it in her left hand as well. But it's just so funny because, I mean, where do our memories go? How are they erased? What's weird is that, I mean, just even in my personal life, like I used to work with this girl at Jurassic Park The Ride and 10 years later or more, maybe more, no, maybe less than 10 years, maybe eight years later, we were talking about who we had worked with and some people we remembered working with and other people we didn't. Like I kept telling her about my friend Sharon and I witnessed them having conversations together and I even showed her Sharon's picture on Facebook and she's like, I have no remembrance of that Sharon lady. And I was just gobsmacked. I was just like, 
really? You have no remembrance of our friend Sharon? And then she talked about this guy named Jeff. And I'm like, I have no idea who Jeff is. And I gave her a description of a Jeff that I thought was working there. And she's like, no, no, he looked like this. And it was a totally different description. And then she showed me Jeff's picture. And I totally didn't remember Jeff. So <laughs> that's like I, either our universes collided and our paths are different or somebody's memory has been wiped or who knows. But it's just very odd to me how our memories can change if we are having glitches in the memories. Um, Jacarandas, that, this is something that Life Matrix pointed out. Jacarandas, he claims he doesn't know anything about purple trees. And it was so weird because when I was watching his video, I was like, yeah, yeah, those are jacarandas. But I remember walking a few weeks ago past the jacarandas that were coming out in my neighborhood and thinking to myself, I thought these were pink. I thought they were pink and actually they're purple. For the most part, I remember them being purple, but I also have a slight memory of them being pink. So that again is another discrepancy in memory. Uh, and then another really fascinating memory discrepancy that stands out in my mind. And it's so weird because you can go back and watch things like videos and, and shows from your childhood. And there's some things that you remember absolutely correctly. And there are other things that are totally different. Case in point, uh, Cheers. There was an episode of Cheers where Kirstie Alley went and chased this guy who was leaving for the airport. And it was a guy she really had a crush on. And I remember her coming back defeated and crying on Sam's shoulder. Well, maybe she wasn't crying on his shoulder because she didn't really want to touch him then. But she goes, she's real cute, Sam. And I remember exactly how she said it. And when I went back and watched it, that's exactly the way she said it. But I got the guy totally wrong. The guy she was chasing was Tom Skerritt's character, whose name I can't remember off the top of my head. But the guy I remembered it as having been was Robin Colcourt, not Sam, not Tom Skerritt's character. And I don't even know how that happened because, and I'm sure I was watching this in reruns, but, and they usually show reruns sequentially, Robin Colcourt's character wouldn't come on the scene for another year or two. So I don't know how I would have lumped Tom Skerritt with Robert Colcourt, Robin Colcourt unless I was watching two different airings of Cheers at two different times. But it was just really fascinating how my brain did it because I remember exactly how she said, she's real cute, Sam, in one line. And then, but the two men were totally different. And, and then, then there was another line where she said to Sam, don't wink, Sam, it's smarmy. And I remember her saying it a totally different way than she did. And when I went back and watched it, she didn't say it with such the attitude that I remember her as having said it. And there are all sorts of little examples like this. But it's really fascinating to me and by the way you guys oh it's so funny she's wearing red dresses in both of these by the way you guys this dress is amazing i have to get this dress but this is not a fashion show this show is not about fashion but i had to point that out so so leave in the comments if you like the dress on kirstie alley um but no more to the point um just leave in the comments anything you think about erased memories i don't know how they're comparing it to a snail. I don't know that erasing memories would be good because I think even if you do have stored memories, that stuff is stored in your body and your muscles and your soul and there may be a disconnect there. But it's really interesting, really weird, something that we should be cognizant of. Um, and at the end of the day, always remember Robin Colcourt. Brave, 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 brave Sir Robin. I always crack up when I say the name Robin because I always think of brave Sir Robin. With his eyes gouged out in his knee, caps so and his elbows broken and his arms cut off in his penis. Never mind. That's actually my made up version of that song because it's not quite like that. But in any case, I had a great time talking to you guys and I will talk to you soon. And like, subscribe, do all that good jazz. Okay, bye.